Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity implementing static and dynamic NAT. Before coming to uh, this packet tracer activity, uh, if you are watching my uh, video first time, you can uh, subscribe this channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your mail. Coming back to our packet tracer activity, here we can see our objectives. In part 1, configure dynamic NAT with the patch. Part 2, configure static NAT. And in part 3, verify NAT implementation. Coming to part 1, configure dynamic NAT with the patch. Step 1, configure traffic that will be permitted for NAT translations. On R2, configure a standard ACL named R2 NAT that uses three statements to permit in order the following private address spaces. Here we can see those 192.168.10.0 network, 20.0 network and 30.0 network. Coming to our packet tracer, uh, in this topology here we can see the details uh, they specified here. Uh, here we can see the router R2, also we can see the networks 10.0, 20.0, uh, also 30.0 now we are going to configure uh, this standard ACL and named R2 NAT on this uh, router R2 coming to the router R2 CLI enable configure terminal here we are going to give IP access list standard then we are going to specify the access list name uh, as a specified R2 NAT and here we can see now we are going to uh, permit the following private address spaces right coming back to the configuration here we are going to uh, permit those networks that is 192.168.10.0 and we have to give wild guard bits uh, here we can see that first one is slash 24 we can see uh, for all address space it's uh, slash 24 so we have to give here a wild guard bits that is 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.255 now we are going to give uh, other network so that is a 20.0 also we are going to permit a 30.0 network now we will come to step 2 configure a pool of addresses for NAT configure R2 with a NAT pool named R2 pool that uses the first address in the 209.165.202.128 slash 30 address space. The second address is used for static NAT later in this uh, part 2. Well, coming to the configuration, we will exit from this uh, mode. Then here we are going to give IP NAT pool. We are going to create the pool specified that is uh, R2 pool. And now we are going to give the stat IP address here we can see as they specified uh, from this network 209.165.202.128 network we are going to use the first address so that is uh, here we will uh, copy this address so it will be more easy and this is a network address so here we are going to use the first address that is 129 and here we can see the end IP address here we are going to use only one address so we are going to give the same IP address here that is uh, 129 now we have to give a net mask and we have to specify the network mask here we can see the CIDR uh, uh, given is uh, slash 30 so here the mask is a 255.255.255.252 coming to step 3 associate the named ACL with the NAT pool and enable patch well coming to the configuration on the router R2 here we are going to keep IP NAT inside source here we are going to specify access list and we have to give the name here we can see that r2 nat r2 nat then we have to specify the pool 
then the pool name here we can see that r2 pool and overload and address translation coming to step 4 configure the NAT interfaces configure R2 interfaces with the appropriate inside and outside NAT commands coming to the topology here we can see uh, in this router R2 uh, the interface uh, You'll see the interface uh, serial uh, 0 slash 1 slash 0 uh, is a NAT uh, outside. Here we can see serial uh, 0 slash 0 slash 1 NAT inside. Here we can see serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 NAT inside. Also, here we can see fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 NAT inside. Well, coming to the configuration, we will go to the interface uh, serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 and here we will give IP NAT outside. Also, we will go to the next interface uh, that is uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Remaining everything IP NAT inside. Also, we have the next serial interface that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. IP NAT inside. Also, we have the interface fast third 0 slash 0. IP NAT inside great job uh, so we have done uh, part 2 1 and now we will uh, come to uh, part 2 configure static NAT refer to the topology create a static NAT translation to map the local dot PKA inside address to its outside address coming to our topology here we can see local dot PKA server and uh, uh, here they given the inside address 192.168.20.254 also we can see the outside address 209.165.202.130 with this information we are going to create a static NAT translation to map this uh, server local dot PKA coming to the configuration on R2 So here we are going to give IP NAT inside source. So here we are going to give static. Now we are going to give a inside local IP address. Here we can see that local.pka. Here they given that. That is 192.168.20.254. And now we are going to give inside global IP address that is 209.165.202.130. Yes, all the informations are correct. Now we are going to press enter. Now we will come to part 3 verify NAT implementation. In that step 1, access services across the internet. A. From the web browser of PC1 or PC3, access the web page for cisco.pka. Coming to the topology, here we can see uh, the PC, PC1 and uh, cisco.pka server. Coming to PC1, desktop, web browser. Here we are going to give uh, cisco.pka. We are waiting for the web page. Yes, here we can see our web page cisco.pka. B. From the web browser for PC4, access the web page for local.pka. Here we can see our PC4. We are going to access uh, uh, this uh, local.pka. Coming to PC4, uh, desktop, web browser. Here we are going to give local.pka. And here we can see the web page. Coming to step 2, view NAT translations. View the NAT translations on R2. We have to give this command show IP NAT translations. Coming to R2. Here we are going to give the command show IP NAT translations. And here we can see the details.
inside global inside local outside local and outside global well that's all in this packet tracer activity implementing static and dynamic NAT here we can see the completion status 8 out of 8 friends if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into our mail thank you